Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. And today, I've had a very special honour. I rang my good friend Ronnie at Brisbane Vintage Watches and I said, Ronnie, please, please let me, please let me go and have a look at this 3970. I said, this watch, this watch is the, the highest accolade in uh, horology. Please let me have a look at it. And uh, he very nicely agreed. He said, look, sure, come and have a look at it. And uh, he let me have a look at this 3970. And it's, it's, it's very, very kind of him because he's actually sold it. He's, uh, I'll tell you, he, he actually sold it for 117000 Okay, there you go. That's the, the deal. And uh, I, I think that's not a bad price. That's not a bad price. A $10,000 deposit has been made. He's received. And uh, I believe the trade, he's getting quite a few watches in trade as well as some money. So, look, I, I reckon he, he's possibly sold it a bit cheap, you know. But he'll probably, you know, I mean, in all honesty he'll probably make a bit on some of the pieces he gets in the trade and good luck to him but uh... three nine seven zero what do i think what do i think of this thing i think it's absolutely beautiful and uh... he's very nicely agreed for me to come down and film it and uh... this is a great honor i mean this is a very very special Patek Philippe um, you're talking about a piece that in the early 90s was sort of their top of the range besides special order sort of pieces. The 3970 Perpetual Calendar Chronograph. I mean, it does not get any sweeter. This is a rare, rare watch. And uh, in some ways there, you know... I, I, look, it's out of my league, okay? It really is out of my league there. I mean, it's out of my league. Um, yeah, I mean, it is. It, it, it is out of my league, and uh, you got to know your limit. you got to know your limit, Bubba. And uh, i got to say, oh, I don't know why. It's just, just, just absolutely amazing. You look at the video here of this piece. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. And before any smart asses come out there and say to me, "Ah, oh, what the uh one of the windows it's in it's half changed." Yeah, I know. I know. He very kindly let me film this watch. I wasn't going to muck around with any mechanisms in it. And uh you know, that's that's not my I, I, I took it as a great honour that he's let me touch it, uh, film it, photograph it, and uh, we'll just leave it at that. I mean, it's a great honour. Believe you me, this is a great honour to be entrusted to film and photograph this piece. And uh, I'm, I'm eternally grateful. And uh, i I got to tell you, this is a beautiful piece. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, I love it. I love it. I've always loved. I've always been a huge fan of the 2499. The 3970. Man, any of those, any of those Patek's, the perpetual calendar chronographs, man. Oh, you, you could be happy with any one of those for life. And uh, it's an exit watch. I mean... It's kind of strange, but once you've got something of this caliber, nothing, nothing on this planet is the same again. Nothing on the planet is the same again. And I, I love, I love the 3970. And uh, I mean, I'd have an industrial accident with a garbage truck to get one of these, okay? I'd have an industrial accident with a garbage truck to get one of these 3970s and uh, I got to tell you the rose gold man it's a very subtle rose gold and it's just it's absolutely gorgeous 
absolutely gorgeous piece and uh, I don't know what I can say further than that there. This is probably one of the greatest watches of all time. I mean, if you had one of these pieces, it doesn't matter whether it's yellow gold, white gold, rose gold, platinum. It's not about the metal. It's about the workmanship on the movement. And uh, it uses the Novell Lamania movement. And uh, I've never... It's just got an aura to it. This watch has got an aura to it. And uh, hey, if, if I... Uh, if it hadn't a sold, I might have been contemplating an industrial accident at work. Let's just put it that way. But uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And uh, I've got to say, it's got a lot in common... A lot in common with my Patek 5035, the annual calendar. Similar size. This here is quite a thick piece. The 5035 is actually quite thick as well. Not as thick as, as the 3970. It's, uh, it's got the similar size uh, straps on them. So there's a lot of characteristics of this piece here that are very similar to my 5035. And... Uh, I'm actually thinking about getting the 5035 out of the bank safe because it's just it's just, just such a beautiful piece to have and uh, I, I don't know what to say it's just it's just gorgeous and uh, I, I really really love it and uh, yeah yeah that's just my, my opinion on it the, the 3970 what a wonderful watch what an absolute honor. Thank you so much, Ronnie and Luke. And uh, sometimes it's always good to, to, to see these beautiful things here. And I, I love this piece so much. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think of this gorgeous footage I've taken of the 3970. See you later.